What common knowledge is actually completely false. Goldfish don't have a small memory they have a memory of around a month and can be trained to do cute things like I've heard this was a lie made up to justify keeping them in tiny bowls. Goldfish have gotten such a rough hand dealt to the monsieur, it's one of the worst fish to keep in a bowl since they produce such a huge amount of ammonia in their waste. If you touch a baby bird the mom rejects it, can confirm monsieur. A lot of sparrows live in my neighborhood. And one baby recently hatched and fell from its birdhouse. There were no birds around so I took it inside and tried to feed it. In the morning, I put it back outside and the mom came for it immediately. That baby bird probably still tells everyone about its alien abduction. There has never been a reported account of someone putting razor blades in people's candy on Halloween. What about the image going around about the guy who found an AK-47 in a snack-sized Snickers? Check and mate son. Yeah right like I'm going to waste any of my automatic edibles on children. Snake venom cannot be sucked out of a wound to save someone. Can the body part be amputated like they do in zombie media in an emergency where they're too far from anti-venom? If the venom enters your system with the initial bite, there's no use cutting the limb off. Every time you breath or move, the venom will be pushed through the lymphatic system and spread. The Great Wall of China is not the only man-made structure that can be seen from space, in fact. It can't really be seen by the unaided eye in low orbit at all. If you could see the Great Wall from space, you would also be able to see every single highway and road. This got me in trouble at school once because I argued against the teacher with this fact. The Great Wall is only a dozen or so meters wide. How the fuck are we not able to see the eight-lane wide highways from space? But we can see this thin AF structure. Also, where are any of the pictures of the wall taken from space that aren't incredibly zoomed in? If you ask an undercover cop if they're a cop, they don't actually have to tell you the truth. The fact that people believe that is just crazy to me. That would just defeat the purpose of the undercover part. Agree, it makes no sense if you think about it. Element, dear Watson, or elementary. My dear Watson, was never said by Sherlock Holmes in the books. I don't know about the movies but by that same token, the exact words beam me up, Scotty, were never spoken by Kirk on the TV show. Same with Luke, I am your father. It's actually, no, I am your father. You shouldn't actually pee on a jellyfish sting, you gotta pee on the jellyfish before it stings you. Assert dominance, convince it you're Poseidon. This guy's losing the battle but winning the war. Contrary to common knowledge, lightning can strike repeatedly in the same place. Entire purpose of lightning rods. So I wasted my time moving mine each time after they get hit. Surprised I haven't seen only 10% of our brain nonsense yet. Imagine if we could use 100% of our brains. You guys can use 10%. The belief that the daddy long legs is actually the most venomous spider in the world. But the only reason its venom can't hurt you is because its fangs are too short to punch a human skin. IIRC. Daddy long legs technically aren't even spiders. And even if they were, their fangs are actually as long as other more dangerous spiders. And for the record, the most venomous spider in the world is the Brazilian wanderer whose venom has a very interesting side effect on human males before it kills the monsieur. Excitement followed by fatality. Actually it's said to be very very painful, and to cause impotence. Waiting 30 minutes after eating before going back to swimming, it won't get you cramped, and as any physical exercise it's important to stretch out before doing it to minimize cramps. Edit, stretching cold muscles are bad too in another myth, I stand corrected edit too. Where I come from the pool and eating thing was told to us like this, if you don't wait 30 minutes minimum, you'll get a cramp which will hinder your swimming capabilities and make you drown. 
vomiting was never said. If I remember it was invented by public pools to stop people bringing food in the water. It's specifically to stop kids from vomiting in pools. Exercise after a big meal, especially in the heat, can make you vomit. Kids vomit super easily and have a poor grasp on when they're overexerting themselves. They also love pools. Bats are not blind. And most bat species actually don't use sonar that much. Fun fact, there are some moths that can emit sonar frequency bursts of noise to confuse bats that do use sonar that prey on the monsieur. You do not have to wait 24 hours to report a missing person. That's a really dangerous and damaging misconception too. The first 48 hours are crucial in missing persons cases. After that it's a miracle if the person is found. Arbitrarily cutting that crucial time window in half is extremely dangerous. Who or whatever started that rumor has probably caused innumerable kidnappings, murders, etc. Masturbating won't make you blind. Trust me. Did you so trust me or thrust trust me or thrust me? My screen reader can't make it out for me. That people by 1400s thought Earth was flat. History teachers say that to students, but it's fake. By 1400s people knew Earth was round. They just didn't know America existed and were trying to find a route to reach India. Hey, thanks for all the upvotes and replies. I just started in Reddit today and am loving this community. Ancient Greeks were aware the Earth was spherical. The math proving the shape of the Earth is really, really old. Yay, wasn't the first guy an Egyptian who figured out the Earth's circumference like, tilde 2000 BC? That people have green or blue pigmentation in their eyes. The iris has two layers and only contains brown pigmentation. If there is no pigmentation on the top layer of the iris, the eye appears blue due to the scattering of light from the brown pigmentation underneath. If both layers contain pigment, the eyes may appear green or brown, depending on how much pigment the top layer contains. So that's why blue eyes are more sensitive, yay, an amp, hash x200b, I have blue eyes and I can't be outside without sunglasses on. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, this is a myth started by cereal companies. Everybody knows Brinner is the most important meal of the day. What about second breakfast? She has a section called general ignorance. Many of the questions here fall into this category. They even had an episode about things they had gotten wrong. Napoleon wasn't sure, he was 5 feet 2 inches according to French measures, which is actually 5 feet 7 inches, average height at the time. Additionally, when in battle, he was always surrounded by his imperial guard. In order to be an imperial guardsman, you have to be about 6 feet tall. They appeared even taller because of their bearskins hats. Average size Napoleon looked tiny in comparison. Also, his nickname was the Little Corporal, which creates the impression that was small. However, calling some little in French petit is a term of endearment. The French word for boyfriend is mon petit ami. Saying, ma petite, translates to saying, my dear, or, my love. The idea of Napoleon being short was propaganda spread by his enemies. Also heard a myth that this rumor was perpetuated by the Brits to fuck with High Miss Year. I don't know if it's true but damn it's an amazing legend of British pettiness if it is. Only gets as big as what you put it in if there's no room to grow. Obviously they cannot physically get any larger but stunting an animal by putting them in something. They cannot reach their natural adult size and severely limits their lifespan and their quality of life this idea was popularized by goldfish. When they are enclosed in a smaller body of water they produce more hormones designed to keep themselves a size that can fit in that space. This allows fish that have been closed off in a cove to continue to have a sustainable food source. This works well in the wild, but not as well in captivity. As people like to exploit this by putting goldfish in bowls and tanks smaller than their adult size. Most fish bowls, around 1 gallon. Where goldfish should have 20 gallons for the first plus 10 gallons for each additional fish. 
Goldfish are among the most abused fish in the pet trade because of the misconception that they only get to the size of what they're in TL. Doctor, animals will stay small if you put them in something small. But by doing so you sacrifice their overall health, their lifespan, and their quality of life. Chewing gum doesn't take seven years to pass if you swallow it. It is very easily digestible. It's actually not digestible at all. Chewing gum is usually just sugar in a polymer base. And your body can't digest the polymer. So you just poop it out. Life hack. Buy one piece free gum forever after. Carrots don't make your eyes better. Dredgers of old World War II propaganda from the Battle of Britain. Cats don't treat humans as bald kittens for them to tard wrangle and look after. IIRC they see you as other cats, with a pack mentality. It's why they don't mind you dealing with their kittens, as it's you sharing the parenting job. It's also why they bring back surplus food in the form of dead animals. For the old, sick, and parents of a colony. You're not going out catching food so they bring you some back when they do. They also understand as much as dogs do. They just don't give a shit. And haven't been bred as servants like dogs have. So you can teach them tricks and communicate with them as you would a dog. They're not little dumbasses who think you're a six-foot hairless kitten for them to raise. They do understand they're part of a colony. Even if it's a human-feline mix. They're pretty neat, even if they're not everyone's cup of tea.